Hi guys, thanks for stopping at the Cranberry Cornstalk YouTube channel, the channel where we share our love for primitive decor. This week I'm getting ready for the festival in August, the Columbiana Shaker Woods Festival out in Columbiana, Ohio. I have a permanent booth there and I've never had a sign. They made a three foot by four foot permanent sign that says the Cranberry Cornstalk Company. And I'm going to show you how I did that this week. I did it all off of my Cricut. I wasn't quite sure if I could pull it off. I was prepared to buy one. But you know how it is. You're trying to save money to go toward more supplies to make more things. And I really didn't want to have to buy one. And we are crafters. I thought it can't be too difficult. And it was, it was a little bit of thinking and a lot of math. But we got it done. I'm going to show you how I did that. And also I did a spree. I made a whole spree free of 10 baby dolls for all you doll lovers who constantly tell me how you like the doll videos. I made 10 babies. I don't think I fit them all in this footage, but I'll finish next week. I did one doll pattern. Um, I call it the quarterback baby. It's the pattern. It's very folk arty. Um, the shoulders are high and rounded. You see it a lot in the fall with the witch witches. They have real broad shoulders and their body goes down real thin. And you see it in the black cats that they make. It's just like a rounded sort of look. I've always called it the quarterback baby look. And I've never made a lot of them, but I made I made a whole I made ten of them. So I don't know if I fit them in this footage. But I made ten different dolls from the same pattern. You can do that too. Just draw the doll that you want it to look like. If you want to do the quarterback baby, you draw the broad shoulders and bring it down into a thin body. It kind of makes like a rounded look. Just draw it out and then when you're finished drawing how you want it to look, draw another quarter inch seam allowance around it. And you're just going to make two of everything and cut it out. I'll show you how I did that here in the video. It was a lot of fun. I had, I had a great time. I did end up putting each doll on a wooden post and, you know, a pole. So that's all ready for the festival this might be my last chance to make anything and this is the part i really enjoy getting to make little personalities out of the different baby dolls i i just laugh and i have so much fun doing it so every baby is its own little creation and they look totally different when i'm finished than when i start out and i never know what to expect so that's what we're doing today make sure if you don't you get tired of watching me cut out the babies or if you get tired of watching me so then just let it roll go get a cup of coffee or a glass of iced tea don't fast forward because the more you watch my videos, the more time you watch them gives me more credit and that helps me on YouTube. Speaking of which, if I've earned your subscription and you like our channel, please hit like, share, and subscribe. Share the video with your other friends on Facebook or wherever you can share, Instagram, that type of thing. Tell your friends. We'll be out at Columbia, Ohio in Shakerwoods the last three weeks, three weekends in August. And um, like and subscribe. If you subscribe, go over and click that bell. If you click the bell, go over and hit all. All that does is let you know each time, each week we, when we release a new video, it'll notify you that we've released one and you can watch it at your earliest convenience. We always try to release them here on Friday or Saturday. That seems to be our biggest hit. Seems, seems to be a hit with all of you guys out there in, in YouTube land. Again, thanks for stopping back at the Cranberry Corner Stuff YouTube channel. Let's get started. <laughs> 